Hello everybody and peace of Christ to all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Uh, today our topic about a Muslim, he asked a question and he claimed that always he asked me this question and I never answer. Now before I start, uh, some they said somebody made a video against me. My friend, there's none of those videos are against me. Those are for my benefit. The Muslims, the more I get Islam angry, the more they make videos and the more they get angry. This is a very clear scale or sign that I'm doing a great job. <clears throat> so never take it, for them it's personal, for me it's not. As many as they make videos against me, as many it is getting better and more people they will start learning about Christian Prince and watching his videos. So those are not really against me, those are for my benefit and for the benefit of our mission. Now, just think about it in a smart way and don't be a fool, they are the fool. Uh, the Muslim Abdul who says to me, in the text <clears throat> or he is saying to you why Christian Prince he never answered this question what is this question this is the question let me show it to you on the screen his name I am sinner I, uh, I have asked this question to CP many times but till date he hasn't uh, replied back CP just show one single verse in from the Bible saying that Jesus saying he is God he is saying worship him and I will convert right now and you see I will prove that you are a, uh, you are a fraud like your prophet right now because you said if I show you one verse saying Jesus I am God worship me you will convert to Christianity okay and the funny how many videos I made about this this guy he, he never he, I keep asking this question <clears throat> you know those uh, Muslims they are just copy paste hey brother and sister if you search the whole Bible, you will not find one verse it said that this is saying peace about him. He said that I am God worship me. I threat the Christian. To find me one verse in the Bible. It said that this is said I am God worship me. You will not find one verse. So those Abduls, they copy paste. Zakir Naik says so, the rest they follow so. As simple as that. <clears throat> now I'm not going to show you 1,000. I will leave the rest for many Christians in the chat. They can copy for you verses from the Bible and they can post. But I will show you one. And let us see if you keep your promise. Is that fair, guys? This is a chapter 8 from the book of John. <clears throat> and this is from the Aramaic Bible. The original Aramaic Bible translation. And you will see right away when we show the Muslims how Jesus says, I am God, worship me. <laughs> they will say, <laughs> so still they will not believe. Here we go. And Yeshua spoke to them with them and said, I am the living God, the light of the world. Whoever follow me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. Well, Jesus says, I am God, worship me. Did you show me? I tell you one verse. No sound? Well, maybe. <clears throat> Let me see. I refresh the page. I don't know why. I mean, from my side, it sounds fine, working fine. Yeah. So you show them the verse. It still it doesn't matter, really. You show them or you don't show them. Who cares? This is a question not really to question. This is a question to make it impossible for you, supposedly. Because this Abdul, he heard from Muslims that there's no verses in the Bible that says, Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Therefore, they will not find it. Therefore, I challenge you. You see, I am the one who keep asking questions. As an example, when, uh, when this guy, Mimi Hijab, he says he want to debate me, he says to me, why? Why is that how a Christian they speak to our, to to our, to a woman? I said, why? I, I I was reading for her what your your stupid prophet was saying. He is the one who said suckle me, and until now we are waiting for answer. What kind of a prophet he say to women, adult women, to give their breast to adult men and they are strangers? It is you Muslims who don't answer. So if you if you say to a Muslim woman, are you willing to suckle me? And by the way, she is the one who speak dirty. She is the one who said uh, Jesus is a guy and he was playing with the mother breast. But look at the corruption of this cult. They try to dishonor you by fabricating lies. Look, look how a Christian prince he is talking. I'm asking her about your religion. She is the one who said that.
So this cult is not asking you as a Christian questions to learn about Jesus. They are trying to deceive you. You know, they are assuming that you are an average person who do not know much about the Bible. And, okay, well, show me where verse where Jesus says, I'm God, and then you will not be able, and then that will make you like, okay, well, Jesus did not say that. Actually, yesterday, there's a guy, he posted in the, in the chat, uh, I think he is from those Unitarian or something like this. He says, I, you, I thought you are going to, uh, I, I watched 16 minutes from the video, until now you did not mention anything about the Trinity. And this this foolish person written in the Bible the same as the Muslim they say written there. But if you say to me there is nowhere in the Bible it says Trinity, that's mean you are a fool. If you open the first page in the Bible, you see God and His Spirit. Here we go. This is two. God and His Spirit before He created anything. So there's God and there is His Spirit. So our God is a Spirit. So we have the God, and we have the Spirit. This is two divine and they are one god and then we have jesus is it the bible says this is my only begotten son isn't it jesus says me and the father is one so they say to you where in the bible it says trinity i can't play the game you play with me i can say to you where in the quran it says that jibreel the angel jibreel is the holy spirit show me one verse saying that jibreel is the holy spirit so this is a silly uh, a, a game and the game does not work for their benefit i apologize if the screen is uh, flipping flicking you know we are using a free software and this is why we are losing connection i have a very high security <clears throat> in my computer and sometimes my security is blocking youtube so if i lose connection uh, please uh, i apologize so you know you see and if we read more, Jesus keeps saying, I am the living God. Each time Jesus says, I am, he is saying, I, this is what, what God, he says to Moses. He said to him, what's your name? You see, I, I am, he's saying, I am Yahweh, Yahweh. So those, uh, uh, Yaha, I mean, very silly people. They think that when, the, when Jesus says, I am, this is, this is what they, in the Hebrew, what God, he said to Moses. This is the title and this is a this is a title given to God. This is not about like you and me saying I am. No, this is a different word. I am He. I am Him. I am your God. I'm your Creator. So I am the Living God. Okay. Well, Jesus always says I am the Light of the of the world. How He can be the Light? Even the Quran stole many names of Jesus. As an example, Allah, he claimed to be light. But Jesus, 600 years before Allah, he says, I am the light. If we ask Muslims, who is stealing this name or this title from? Allah stole it from Jesus or Jesus stole it from Allah? For sure, the Quran is a book came 600 years after Muhammad. Allah nuru samawati wal ard. But isn't it Jesus who said, and we just showed you the verse, that I am the light of, of, of the world? Allah is stealing the title of Jesus, claiming it for himself. And for sure, this is not Allah, this is Muhammad. Allah does not exist. Jesus says, I am the resurrection and I am the life. Allah said that he is the resurrector. Jesus, he is the resurrection. He is himself, he is the resurrection, which means every, every resurrection is happened by the power of Jesus. And every life is exists is happened by the power of Jesus. He is the life himself. He is the life. Every life we have is belong to him. And yet he said to you where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. And yes, in the Bible, there's many verses where they bow down and they worshiped him. It says that literally. So when we speak to Muslims, answering them about their questions, remember carefully, a question is not meant to be a question when a Muslim he give it to you. The question is meant to be deception. And he, they are the one who never answer us. If I ask a Muslim, okay, why Allah uh, 
Consider the black dog the devil. No answer. Why Allah have two hands? No answer. Why Allah have two eyes? No answer. Where is Allah eyes located? No answer. Why Allah have no spirit but he have a physical body? Which is that is is he concrete? Is he made it from silicone? No answer. Zero answer. They do not know even who is their God. They do not know the nature of their God. They do not know where the Allah, the word Allah is coming from. They don't even know what the word Allah mean. For this is a word is stolen from other cultures and they are worshipping a God they do not know. And yet they claim that we are the one who give no answers. I'm waiting for this answer. Who want to answer me? Why Allah Prophet, he order his women, order Muslim women, to give their breast to an adult man like Mimi Hijab. He's upset from me because I said to his sister, suckle me. But isn't it your prophet? He says, suckle him. And she is the one who said to me, Jesus, he played with his mother boobs. And the wise answer her, I said, no, this is not in our belief. This is in your cult. Who is the Muslim one to answer us? Nobody. I challenge you to give me one million a year to give me an answer about this. I mean, what?